welcome back to another video my fellow developers and in this video we are going to continue our uh, to-do app that we were building uh, in the previous uh, few videos so this is how it looks like we created this form with material UI uh, and if we compare it like if you compare it with the ready product this is how it looks like we have the theme changing option we'll add it later but uh, we have the form uh, the icon or the symbol is remain, remaining so let's uh, now put the icons okay so what do we want in here well <clears throat> so we need to uh, have one package called material uh, UI icons okay so let's add a terminal and then I'm going to say npm install at material hyphen ui slash icon now i don't know it's icon or icons maybe it's icon so if i let me just uh check that out once uh material ui so let's check that out here and uh it's basically the core if i search for icon icons um, so yeah it's uh, icons okay so that's the thing that's the same thing let's hit enter to install it so basically that will install the package and now we don't need to worry about anything because our package is getting installed okay so that's how the package will get installed and till then let's uh, see what we are going to do in this video so in today's video we will basically uh, create the component okay it's the card the card component uh, so for example if i add it to do for example play uh, so we want to add this component that is here okay and then we are going to add these buttons okay these icon buttons so that uh, we are going to add the functionality later on but for now we are just going to create the ui okay and in the next video we'll implement our state so i can close this tab out uh, we don't need it uh, so let's see if it, it is installed and uh, till it's installing so what we are going to do is we are going to create a to do uh, to do container or let's see to do list component okay and that to do list component will contain all of the to do's okay so basically it's like a container so instead of components let's right click and create a new file and i'm going to call it to do list dot jsx okay so let's go here and let's uh, create a functional component so rafce and no rafce so that will basically it's storing that's why it's uh, taking it's using a lot of memory vs code uses a lot of memory as it is made with electron js so rafce so basically this will create a to-do list component and yeah we have installed it so let's kill this terminal and let's get back to this one so uh, let's uh, keep it like this okay so this component is going to contain all of the other components okay uh, i mean the to do's all of the other to do's so inside of this component we are going to this component is going to very 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 simple okay so let's build this to do list component it will be very very easy uh, so uh, basically we are going to return a div for now okay let's save this okay and let's import it right here so i'm going to import to do list from dot slash components slash to do list okay and i'm going to render it below to do form so to do list uh, right now if i save it it will be empty okay nothing will be inside of it because we are just rendering an empty diff so let's go here and let's create a new file and i'm going to call it to do dot jsx okay so basically to do list is the container which will contain all of the to do's and to do is the main component okay so the to do component basically uh, it will be made with material ui and we are going to make it with a card okay so first of all you need to import uh, react uh, basically let's create a functional component rafce that's fine now let's import 
something oops import import something from uh, at material UI core and icons is also installed so what we are going to import well we want to import the card we want to import the card con content we also want to import the typography we want to import the container and also finally the icon button so these are the high order components that uh, we are importing from uh, at material ui core okay so let's go inside of the div and let's create something so i'm going to first of all get the container okay and this container will uh, wrap everything okay we'll wrap everything inside of this container so i'm going to create a card okay and that card will have some props or you can say attributes so basically it will have a um, variant first of all which will be outlined so the styling basically it's the styling it's for the styling then i'm going to add a style uh, so i'm going to add an object so as you guys know that style uh, prop takes in an object okay so i'm quickly going to say um, the styling will be margin top first of all so let's set the margin top to uh, 35 okay so 35 pixels and let's set the background so i'm going to set the background to and wrap it inside of strings light gray okay so this is how our background will look like and this color uh, this highlighting comes from an extension called color highlight and if you take a look this is the extension color highlight okay so that's the thing now uh, for now we are going to put these stylings let's see and now let's put some more thing let's put the card content now so card content and inside the card content we want the text okay and the text comes from typography okay now we want to set a variant for type typography variant equals h5 so that will be like a heading 5 and then we want to say component equals h2 so basically component means the, the variant will be h5 but the component will be h2 okay then we want to say uh, uh we want to add the styles later on uh, the custom styling will add it later so now let's add the icon button icon button why are we adding that well uh we need to add the icons for check also okay so the tick mark and the delete button so we are adding and we are adding the check icon so let me add a comment right here check icon okay so this is how you add a comment i pressed ctrl slash so basically it's a javascript expression and you have a javascript comment inside of it okay so this icon button will have an icon we want the icon also and that's why we installed the material ui icons so let's go ahead and import some icons so import we are going to import from at material ui slash icons okay so we are going to import basically the we want the checked icon and we want the delete icon okay so the names are the same we have the check and delete okay they are the same so let's go here let's go over here and inside of the icon button you need to render that particular uh, uh, that particular icon okay so we need the check icon first of all so we can just say check and oops that's it uh, let's go inside of here and let's add a style basically and we are going to add a color of green uh, green so yeah why am i putting this uh, color green 
basically in the ready project we don't have green but in this project uh, right now when I'm working it is green okay so that's why I'm doing that let's import uh, now import to do from oops to do from dot slash and to do and let's get rid of like let's put parentheses let's create a div simply it should give me some suggestions and let's render out the to do component for now and let's save this file it's going to compile it so basically what are we doing here we are just adding the icon for now and we'll add the text later on okay first of all let's see how our app looks like so basically it is taking too long to compile so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kill this terminal okay we don't want to compile it right now uh, i'm going to right click and i'm going to reveal in file explorer so basically you will have the file explorer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up git bash here so the terminal and basically oops i'm going to say npm start in the terminal why i'm uh, doing a separate terminal well uh, we uh, in vs code it uses a lot of memory so it also uses the ter uh, the terminal inside of it also uses a lot of memory so as you saw this was super fast okay so if you have any errors we will check in in here okay uh, so now we are not going to use vs code terminal to run our app basically so as you can see it's uh, compiled successfully so as you can see now we have our card uh, and we have this uh, check icon with green color okay and it gives us the warning that uh, delete is defined but never used uh, basically it's because we haven't used delete yet okay so let's create a similar uh, let's create a similar button uh, the delete button okay and let's just uh, what I'm going to do I'm, I'm just going to say all shift down arrow and this one will be delete instead of check and the color will be red and uh, a style that I'm going to apply to it style equals I'm going to just say for simple purposes float equals right okay so it will be uh, it will float on the right side of our card nothing else okay let's see if it uh, is compiled so let's take a look at it oh it's, it's refreshing and as you can see now our delete button uh, our delete icon is here and our checked icon is here so now let's add the text okay the main text that we need so basically we are going to go in between these two and uh, let's we just need to say add curly braces oh no no add curly braces for now we are just going to say to do one save that and then if we take a look at our app so this is how it looks like we have the text to do one it's similar to that one okay uh, so that's how our uh, that's how our card looks like that's how we design our card so we have our button okay which is icon button and this is also a button it's not working right now we'll add the functionality later on but in this video we finally made our card and if you want more cards uh, what you can do is you can just go to to do list for now and let's just copy and paste this save that and then you will see it will render more cards okay so it will render the second card with the uh, with the same properties okay so you will have the to do one you will have to do one here also uh, now we I just want to say one thing I just want to add one thing uh, that so it renders out the to do one and the to do one again because it just renders out this uh, whole component okay this whole component we have hard coded the to do that's why in this in the next video we will uh, create the state for that to do basically and that will be fun okay we are we will we will be adding our state and then we will be uh, passing it through props and then we will be uh, basically using that state here okay instead of this hard coded to do one and then we will be uh, creating state for this uh, checked if it's checked if it's delete deleted uh, if this button is clicked so that's what we're going to do 
a lot okay that's it for this video guys hope you like it share it with others who want to make a, an app and then test their skills in react and if you have any suggestions or comments or if you have any questions or doubts just let me know in the comments i will try to answer all of them okay and finally thanks for watching